www.beststrategies.com. Hello, this is Daniel Grady with a quick look at the markets for today, Monday, May 12th. We have an uneventful day coming up with no major news on the economic calendar. Only if you're trading the Swiss franc at 7.15 GMT, we have retail sales coming out from Switzerland, which could generate some volatility in the Swiss franc. And then we're waiting for data coming out overnight, such as uh, home sales from Australia. Then we have uh, industrial production and retail sales from China, which could generate some volatility uh, overnight. Uh, moving over to the markets, uh, the S&P 500 on Friday moved higher, it's up by 0.2%. Uh, during early trading today, uh, we had mixed results in, in the Asian, Asian session uh, with Chinese stocks moving higher on speculation that the Chinese government will do something to support markets, but Japanese equities also moving slightly on the downside. And then going into the session today, S&P 500 futures are trading up by 0.2% looking to a positive outlook for the markets today. And without major any major news on the economic calendar, today would be a good opportunity to get in some um, technical trading. So moving over to the euro, uh, the euro on Friday continued to move on the downside as expected. This was following remarks by uh, ECB President Mario Draghi on Thursday. Um, it came down to our support level here at 137.50 and has since rebounded. After a strong move like this, it's it's very likely that we'll have a technical correction here. So we're looking at support at 137.40 at the moment and resistance at 138.40. Uh, the pound also moved on the downside uh, on Friday. This was most likely dragged down because of arbitrage uh, with the euro and has since uh, continued to rebound. So we're also looking at a technical correction here for the uh, the pound. We have support at 168.40, which, had, which it was our previous uh, support level and where it came down to on Friday and is since moving higher. We have our next level of resistance at 169, but 169 is not all that uh, strong of uh, resistance level and we'd be looking towards 170 um, in the short term. The yen, uh, the yen has been keeping uh, along this trend line here. It's, it's closed below it a couple times, but it's always managed to recover. Uh, we still have support at 101.25 and resistance at 102.25 without any major events here to push the uh, dollar or the yen in any particular direction. And uh, finally, we have gold, which continued to move slightly on the downside. It's still above uh, support at 1,280, and we have resistance at 1,310. And um, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and happy trading.